what is the impact, right, of these kinds of uh, invocations of classical antiquity as part of a white heritage narrative? So all of these, you know, very neatly dressed and well-behaved um, young black children who are on a field trip um, and looking at, you know, wandering in the mall and looking at this statue, looking up at this Greek god of George Washington, um, a man who enslaved probably around a thousand, according to my research, um, people over the course of his lifetime. Um, which is much more than the number that usually gets quoted, but that's usually just the number that he quote unquote, you know, owned when he died. Um, what is it, what is, what's up with this, right? Like, what is this doing? Um, and taking it as an example of these kinds of, of, of uh, references to the past more generally, the classical past more generally, these narratives really, uh, and within a K-12 context in particular, um, I think do a lot of damage by reinforcing alienation and exclusion on the part of students of African descent and other students of color. Um, every time that they encounter these kinds of things, or hear someone say, ever since the Greeks and Romans, like we've been blah, 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 or society has blah, 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 and universalizing um, ancient Greece or ancient Rome as origin stories. They see a past that has no place for them. And that image, again, is reflected in the present and in the inequalities and injustices they and their families and people who look like them experience in the present. 